Hey you guys, it's me Dead Devil back again with another video. So today's video is not about cats. It's just been intruded by cats. Um, but as you can see, right over here is a creepy crystal, creepy crystal kit that I'm going to be trying out. Um, and I'm going to do a time lapse of it over the days as it grows. So I thought it would be really good to do a YouTube video on it. So, let's get started. Okay guys, so here is it all out of the box. We have some ammonium dehydrogen Don't know what that says. Some tree growing solutions. It's like a liquid, that's like a powder. We have a color tablet and um, seed crystal. And if we just move toffee um we have this like little container thing which looks really cute um could just it's not we have um random stone so i'm interested to see what this does um we have a little um funnel which looks it's really small actually so yeah <laughs> And then we have this little tub thing. So it's like a, I don't know. <laughs> and then two plus no two cardboard tree things and this one has sadly been chewed a bit, so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but we're gonna try and mend it. We're gonna try. So if we could just move you, dear Toffee. But go with your brothers, with your brothers and sister. Um, so and here's the instructions. So I think it's like set up as I did read it before. That's why the box is a bit teared because I wanted to see what was in it properly and if it would be easy to film. <laughs> um, and it looked all right. So I'm gonna start off with the first experiment, which looks like. It's crystals in a tub so it's this plastic tub and it would grow crystals in it so I'm really excited to try this um, so what I've got to do first is measure 100 milliliters of hot tap water and pour it into a bowl so I'll be back in a second okay so I've got um, 100 milliliters of hot water but my tap wasn't going hot so I had to use some kettle water for now, but in case it'll still be hot. Um, and then it says in the instructions to add this powder. Um, it has a tear bit, so I'm gonna have to go get some scissors. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've cut open the powder, and it's just white, nothing special. Now it says to stir it. Okay, so I'm back with a spoon. Very unorganized at this, but eh, oh well. Okay guys, so um, all of that um, has been mixed and as you can see it's all dissolved, all the powder is dissolved. So the instructions say to just then leave it for 10 minutes to cool down, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back in 10 minutes. 
the solution into the bottle with the funnel so i'm going to do that off camera because this may be tricky okay right so with great difficulty i mean i put some of the solution in because it overflowed um so then it says to add in the color tablet so it's like orange or red so it says to add that in followed by the seed crystal seed crystal you pop it in there okay so <coughs> here it is um as you can see it looks pretty red to me um so now we just leave that to uh form for about a week okay so it says for this next experiment i'll need a yogurt pot um the limestone rock and some malt vinegar so i suppose this experiment you kind of can do this at home uh so it says that you need to place the limestone rock into the yogurt pot so that's what i'm gonna do boom <laughs> and then it says to pour vinegar over the rock until it's just covered so this is the malt vinegar i need to put it over the rock till it's just covered Okay, so the rock is just covered and oh, this stinks of vinegar, obviously. Why would it not? Okay, then it says, I stood the pot in a warm place near a radiator or in an airing cupboard. I observed the rock over the next week. Okay, even though this one <laughs> was boring. So it's clearly, what he's basically saying is that once the rock is in there and it is covered by the vinegar, we need to move it into a cupboard. Um, so no sun can get on it. And it should start to perform crystals. Because it is a crystal kit. So now on to the next experiment. Okay guys, so we are on with the next experiment. And this one is to make a tree with little crystals coming off the branches. So step one says to use a felt tip pen to colour the branches of the tree different colours. So that's what I've done. And I've done them just red and black. And then it said um, to separate um, and bend the tree branches at different angles. So that's what I have done. Um, so let's put that back together. Okay, and then it says um, to slot the two pieces of the tree together and place them in the base of the Petri dish. So here's the dish, and here's the tree. Oh. Um, and then it says to cut open the packet of growing solution and carefully put it into the tree dish. So this means this tree solution. So I'm just gonna go ahead, go ahead, get some scissors and cut this packet open. Okay, so I got some scissors and I've got the packet. So I'm just going to cut open the packet. Uh, move star. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so here is the liquid. It's already started to form like a, um, a crystal here. Look at that. Mm. Um, so 
I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this corner off and slowly pour it to there. So there's that and then it says and carefully place the dish and tree where you want it to display so it has to be somewhere safe where they won't get knocked over so I'm gonna put this on my bedroom window um, so I'll be back in a second okay guys so here is the tree the lighting's not that great because as you can see the Sun is here and the shade is here so I've put it in the shade um, so yeah, I'll see you in my next video where I will do a time lapse of the crystals growing on all my experiments. And I know I promised in my last video, my hair growth video, so I am working on it. It's going to take a couple of months. It's going to take two months um, just to do the growth of my hair. So I'm pretty excited for that video, but it's going to take a while. But I will see you in my next video, hopefully on the crystal growth. And that should be in a week. So yeah, bye guys.